Welcome sa sit9.com uh, In this video, itutuloy natin yung ating series about polynomial functions no? And uh, dito sa video na to, pag-aaralan natin yung application ng remainder theorem, factor theorem Saka yung synthetic division na pinag-aaralan natin From PF08, PF08 to PF11 Ano to mga to? Code ng mga videos yan sa YouTube no? Series kasi ito, so this is PF12, yung pinapanood nyo ngayon at yung pinag-aaralan natin yung synthetic division, remainder theorem, at factor theorem ay nasa PF08 to PF11. No? Uh, unahan ko na kayo bago ako magsimula ng uh, lecture ko. Um, nasa hotel ako ngayon at yung hotel ko ay nasa tabi ng highway. So kung may marinig kami yun ng mga nagbubusina na bus at mga, ano, mga jeep at uh, taxi or basta mga sasakyan, eh, alam nyo na yun. No? Pagpasendyahan nyo na. So here we we answer the question is x minus 1 a factor of p of x. Yung p of x natin is a polynomial which is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. No? Now sabi sa remainder theorem uh, pag nag-substitute ka dun sa function ng uh, value ng c, no? Uh, and uh, the value of f of c is actually the remainder when divided by x minus c. So, ibig sabihin, pag, uh, here we find the value of c, x minus c, no? dito x minus c, di ba? x minus 1. So, here, in the first uh, function, uh, in the first uh, question, ang x natin dito ay, sorry, ang c natin dito ay equal to 1. x minus c. So, ang c natin is equal to 1. Okay? So, Ang tanong dyan, ano ang, val ano ang value ng P of P of 1, di ba? Kasi ang F of C natin dito is, ang C is, uh, F yun nandito kasi ang function natin is F of X. Pero here, P of X ang function natin. Kaya P naman yung gagamitin natin variable dito. Ay, yung, sorry, hindi variable but the name of the function. So P of 1 is equal to Sabi niya, pag ang P of 1 yan daw yung remainder. So, pag nag-zero yung P of 1 natin, if F of Z is 0, if P of 1 is 0, then X minus 1 is a factor. No? So, tinignan natin pag 0 ba siya. Pag 0, factor. Pag uh, hindi 0, kung may number na value, yun yung remainder, no? according to remainder theorem. Okay? So, sige nga, substitute natin P of 1. Siyempre, pag P of 1 ka, Lahat ng x dito, gagawin mo 1, di ba? So, magiging 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 squared minus 5 times 1 minus 6. So, magiging 1. 1 squared is 1 times 2. 2 minus 5 times 1 is 5 minus 6. Okay? So, magiging 3 minus 5 minus 6. What is 3 minus 5? Negative 2 minus 6. This is equal to negative 8. So, P of 1 is equal to negative 8. So, 0 ba siya? Hindi, di ba? So, P of 1 is negative 8. Meaning, negative 8 is the remainder. No? F, di ba? Uh, F of C is the remainder. P of C is P of 1. No? So, P of 1 is negative 8. So, negative 8. No? Ano sagot natin dito? No. So, ang sagot natin sa question is f x minus 1 a factor of p of x. This is no. Kasi meron siyang remainder na negative 8. Because p of 1 is equal to negative 8. And not 0. Now, ang um, pag ang question, okay na ito. Satisfied na tayo sa solution kasi remainder lang naman. Pero kung nagpapadivide tayo, kakailangan na natin yung uh, synthetic division. No? Hindi na ito tan sa tanong. No? Uh, nilalawakan lang natin kasi ito, basically, pinapadivide na yung ito at saka ito, di ba? At pinapakuha nyo yung remainder. Kaso nga lang, hindi na tayo magdi-divide ng, ano, ng long division kasi kagamitin na natin yung remainder theorem at factor theorem. However, kung hinihingi niya yung, yung uh, 
For example, inhingi niya yung quotient, saka tayo gagamit ng remain ng synthetic division. Synthetic division na hindi remain yung theorem. So, sabi natin sa synthetic division, ang gagawin natin is 1, uh, 1, uh, we arrange the exponent of the terms in decreasing order. Naka-arrange na ba siya in decreasing order? Yes. 3, 2, 1 yung exponent. Exponent in decreasing order. Pag, pag alam na natin na decreasing, we copy the coefficients. So, 1, 2, negative 5, negative 6. Okay? And then, lagyan ng guhit. Ilagay dito yung value ng C. Ano yung C natin kanina? 1, di ba? At yung balikan yung video. And then, pag nakuha na natin yung C, we bring down 1, that's the first step. And then, 1 times 1, 1, and then we add, 2 plus 1 is 3, multiply ulit, aray ulit yung sagot dito, this is negative 2, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, add ulit, add yan, is negative 8. So kapareho ba nito? Yes, negative 8 is the remainder. Yung pinaka last number dito sa synthetic division, yun yung remainder. Pag 0 ito, walang remainder, no? Ang pakanda sa synthetic division, ginagamit talaga siya sa division, no? Ito, hindi kailangan ng division dito kasi remainder lang hinahanap. Pero kung hinahanap yung, yung um, quotient, then you have the quotient here. This, these are the, the coefficients of the quotient. So, lalagyan natin yan ng x. Anong pinakamataas dito? 3. So, magsisimula tayo dito sa 2. And then, susunod ay x the first power, and then x to the zero, wala na yun, di ba? So, plus x squared plus 3x minus 2 remainder remainder negative 8, no? Sa ano, sa polynomial, pwede ka mag-remainder ng negative, no? Baka magtaka kayo. Sa division ng polynomials, you can have a remainder of negative 8. Okay? So, Yan, uh, wala siyang, ang sagot dito is, uh, it, it is not a factor of, x minus 1 is not a factor of p of x, and additional information, uh, the re, of course, if it's not a factor, the remainder is not 0, but the remainder is actually negative 8. And additional information, if we divide this by this, the, the, the quotient is x squared plus the x minus 2, and the remainder is negative 8. Again, Hindi ito tinatanong yung, yung quotient dito. Ang tinatanong is factor ba siya o hindi. At nasagot na natin yan. Additional info lang ito para makonect natin yung pinag-aralan natin before yung uh, synthetic division dito sa ating pinag-aralan ngayon. No? So, sa susunod na video, sasagutin natin to Yung x is x plus 1 a factor of p of x. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.